Obradin, everyone. So, we've identified quite a lot of crew members now. I can't remember what number we're up to. Uh, but we pinged <laughs> quite a few at the end of the episode yesterday. Um, sorry for doing a bit of guessing, I guess, with the... Um, is it Emily and Miss, whatever her name is, at the end. Um, I told one of you, I'm, I'm going to stop doing any guesswork, because I did guesswork to get Martin and John... Or, you know, I did, uh, you know, eliminated from one of two to, to do Martin and John and to do uh, It Beng and Chio. Um, I haven't been so lucky doing it with Emily and Jane. So uh, I, won't, I, I won't do that again unless I'm, like, really desperate. Because uh, I understand it's not, it's, it's a very, it's a kind of game in the system, isn't it? So uh, I appreciate that. Um, so, yeah. Uh, can we skip to the last page to see how many we've got? Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, in, twelve, fourteen, six. Wow, we've got over twenty. Nice. And how big is the crew? Manifest? Manifold? 60. Okay, so like a third. I imagine they'll start ticking over quite a bit now. Alright, so in terms of uh, chapters... Have we got all of them now except for the bargain? I'm just going to have a quick scan through. I do have to do these refreshes. Oh, we've not even got... We've not got chapter 1. That's in the cargo hold. Okay, so that's, uh, that's where I'll try and go next before we do any more backtracking or whatever. I think that... There are t because doesn't the not the doom the bar the bargain is act actually in the cargo hold as well right so is this true because it says we can start it right See, in the lazarette, so maybe that's a part of it, you know? Okay, so what we'll do... We'll try and start loose cargo uh, on the cargo deck. Now, I, I, did, I said to one of you as well that I should really become, be a bit more familiar with the like sub areas. What the hell's going on here? All oh, right, these are the various parts. Okay. So the lazarette is this section here. Now we might not even be able to. I think have we been? No, we've not. We've not been in. I think that there's a body here, right? Or did it lead us to a different one? I think there's a body here, so that might be where the first chapter starts, and the lazarette's here. Okay, so passenger cargo, the bosun's store, okay. And captain's cargo. Surgery, okay. Starboard walk, crew. I need to maybe have a look at these more in some of the memories just to get an idea. You know, if someone stood in here, that might mean they're the surgeon, same thing. So, like, uh, you know. All the crew quarters and stuff. Bosun, bosun, mate. Okay, so I'm going to head back down to uh, the bosun store. And uh, see if we can start off chapter one before. And then we'll try and get into the lazarette to see if we can uncover anything about the bargain out of turn. I don't know if that has some kind of dire consequence to it, you know, going against the guy's wishes. If we can, we might not be able to, of course. Oh, it's locked. Right, of course. There is something open in there, so I wonder if there's a sneaky way in.
Because I feel like that hint being in the book suggests we can get in there. But this isn't a physical puzzle game, so... Maybe once we've revealed chapter one... What did it say, actually? Right, so I, th I feel like we need to do everything before that will be revealed then. Right, there was another body in this room, right? So this is probably, ch hopefully, chapter one, even. Yeah, we've not done this one yet. So, beautiful, we'll start here. And this... Well, maybe moving the cargo on. Crushed. Poor chap. Imagine this kind of thing was quite common though. He's one of the people who betrayed. Ah. We've not seen him before. So that could be the guy from Sierra Leone or one of the Americans, maybe. Looks like he looks like West African, yeah. I, I can't get a yeah, I can. Okay, he died very early on. Is he sat with the Russians or the Indians? One of. That's one of the other um, guys who looks West African. An unidentified stowaway expecting free passage and eventual freedom was instead crushed inside a falling barrel. Oh right, a stowaway, so his identity is unknown. He was he was inside a barrel. Inside a barrel. It's horrible. That is absolutely horrendous. Twelve others were present. It's the first time we've seen... Oh, no, it's not the first time. I've got him, his death tagged here. So I've got him tagged as uh, the guy from Sierra Leone, which might not be true at this point. But, I mean, the two Americans are the carpenters, right? So, why would they just, why would they be doing, like, semen work? You know, moving stuff around like this? Unless they, this is their supplies. These are their supplies. Well, Mosin's still at the, at the ready. So is this the same? Dude. Well, lots of people died at this stage, right? So that's not a stowaway. The stowaway was in a barrel. 
Now there was an accent on the guy showing look, uh, shouting look out below. Right, that's the bosun's assistant, right? Oh, uh, that would make sense. I've misidentified him then. Hey, what have I done? So that means he's Frenchy, right? So did he, <laughs> did he get killed completely by accident then? Because he stood with the bosun, so I feel like that's a reasonable assumption, right? He got called a Dane when he was actually French. God. That's like peak Brexit right there. Um, okay. I don't think there's... Is there anyone else new that I've not spotted? He was crushed by cargo. Still very unsure who he is though. That's not that's it for this chapter, right? Huh. Is that oh that's Renfrid, right? We've got, we've got him. Yeah, Solomon. Foremost and guard. I've just forgotten his name. That's the only reason. Hoxeng. He said, uh, these guys, these two guys who I'm really struggling with. But what this might be a good trigger for is going back through everything in chronological order. Uh, where was the door? There it is. Okay, not got much from that, but cross-examining it with the other chapters. Right, pretty short chapter. Right, so I guess we just start with going through the rest of the chapters again. Right, because we've got all the chapters except for the for the bargain, right? So we we have to We've got all the information in front of us now. Uh oh. Boy, get in there somewhere. American. Arms coming. Finish your business and climb down here. Oh, maybe not. Oh, <laughs> that sounded like an American doing an English accent. Shit, can I not re-examine then? Was I on the clock this whole time? Storm's coming. Right. I'll have a look. I'm obviously not going to come off the ship yet. So are we on the timer now? Because we, we desperately need to re-examine. It's like the cranberry juice while playing this game has become like ritual at this point. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to go through all the chapters again in chronological order. Hopefully. 
So we're going to start with a bit of cold when we were just off the coast of Portugal. And we're going to start with uh, this memory had the Russians and the Indians in, right? The Indians, two of them were, uh, were well, some, uh, a few of them were very ill. The Russian, three, the three Russians were playing cards. Uh, we, we have one of the Russians ID'd. So that might help narrow it down, although I'm not too sure. They are on uh, the all-up deck. So this guy can sit in the storm for a bit. I hope that we're not on the clock here, because that's going to mean I've failed, essentially. Wait, no, it's not this guy, is it? Yeah, oh, it's, it's this guy. Yeah, so the thing should tell me which chapter it's in, right? So that means chapter 2, part 1. Right? Whereas if we're here, that means... What? Uh, that means what? Chapter 6? Chapter 6, part 5. Yeah. Excellent. So I can trust that to make sure I'm going for the right one. Chapter 2, part 1. Let's go. Hey, don't forget to go Right, so the bed numbers might help us out here somehow. Now, I'm, I'm going to have to double check. This is going to be a bit tiresome at points, I imagine. Right, so he's confirmed. I think you're confirmed. You're confirmed, you're Solomon. The dude in the back is the problem. Although I could probably deduct what his bed number is, right? Did you, Steven? 53. 51-53. So that would mean that that's 56, right? Right? No. But he's the only Indian guy left. Assuming he is one of the Indians. No, there wasn't the one other. Yeah. But he's the ship's steward. He's not going to be sleeping down here. Sit really, is he? Surely not. Surely not. Surely we can make a presumption here. I think this is fair enough. Right, this is Abraham Akbar. No. Presumption, and I've just crossed off someone else by accident. Right, so their three beds are here, but only one of them has the bloody numbers on. Right, so we have... You're the, you're the crazy one. Oh. No, we don't. We don't have him. What? No, it's this guy, it's this guy. Okay. Um, now he's Topman. I think the other two are seamen, aren't they? That's going to be a problem. 
Yeah. Crap. Well, we do we, we do we have me? Uh, how the other two died? No, but he does show up. Depicted in the underway sketch. Disappeared. Oh yeah, in the calling. We don't have disappeared though, right? And he's one of the Russians. And he disappeared as well. Ah, uh, I really want to take a guess because if they actually disappeared, then unknown fate is, is like their actual fate, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll put that in my back pocket for now. We'll check which one of them's number 47. Not that that really matters. So Toporov is number 47. He's at the front here. Does that mean anything? He's got a pipe and a satchel that's hanging on his... Uh... Oh, hello. No, the others do have numbers. 45 and 46. He's got a satchel though. He's got a satchel. Where's my notepad? The uh, the journal's so extensive. I don't really need the notepad. But... Um. Okay, number whoever number forty-seven is. Russian forty-seven. He's a secret agent. <laughs> Satchel and pipe. We're going to need to uh, get pretty detailed here to get some of these. So, okay, so Russian 47, satchel and pipe. No other distinct things. Let's see, have a look at what they're wearing. Pro uh, so they're. They're not going to be dressed too differently, right? Because they're both seamen. Maybe he's a topman. Because he's a topman, he's dressed a bit differently, perhaps. Um, it might be worth making a note of who else is sleeping down here. I'm not sure. That's going to get us anywhere. Right, let's get out of this memory. We've got a little bit of information on one of the Russians. We've got, hopefully, the the, 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 the last Indian seaman. Um, I sound like a name for a really cheesy novel. The last Indian seaman. Right. Okay. So we picked up a bit of extra information there. Okay, let's head to the gun deck. Oh, he's the one on the stairs, right? Yeah, two of two. Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease. Consumption. <coughs> Made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now. 
and everyone is healthy. And him? <laughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. Right, we've still not really got the surgeon's ID properly, have we? We don't really know what happened to him either. Or, or maybe I do, I don't know. Oh, he disappeared in his game. I've got to pick up something in here, so... That's Martin, third mate. That monkey, I think, belongs to, ironically, to the surgeon. Right. They're all understandably upset. Not really anything else for us. Okay. Don't think I'm going to pick up any other details here. This guy. He does not seem bothered at all. Part 3 is on the all-up deck by the starboard walk. Uh, I think that that's the, the large cow, right? Uh, I, I, I misidentified Charlie in this one. Uh, but there, there are the brothers, I think. Let her here. One swing. Get through the skull in stone of brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <coughs> you all right there, sir? Christ, never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. Right, so this was the wrong Charlie. I think we got him. Yep. So I think the scarfs are midshipmen, aren't they? Midshipmen. I'm sure I didn't. I didn't. I twig brothers. I'm sure I did. Yeah, Nathan, Nathan and Samuel. I'm sure that they're brothers, man. Right, what other details can we get here? So this is the probable surgeon. The Indians taking their, their friend out. Or motions where they usually are. I'm 
sure that those are the brothers, man. No. <laughs> Peter Milroy. Idiot, Matt. I'm missing a, a detail about them. I just, I'm not sure how we're going to find out who's alive and stuff, do you know? Right. Right. Murder. I know we've been through this again already, but there's quite a lot of people in 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 these ones, right? right he's back up top. Yeah, let's just go through everything chronologically. And then maybe you guys can give me a advice about maybe a point of no return or something. I don't think we necessarily need to look at this one again, but there might be something in here. You never know that I've missed. Because we know how he died, we know how second mate here died. And we know how the the guard died. Is someone hurt? Uh, Senor Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Oh, hello. Yes. All fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. What? What's your step? Here. Let me help you. Ah! Just to double check, we got him. Yep, and we definitely got you. It's just we haven't got Tan, have we? This one's really frustrating because we know exactly how he died. Would it count as exploded? There's no option for hung, is there? I mean, would it... Would it technically be the, uh... The gunner? Who killed him? No. This is really frustrating, this one. I mean, obviously some of these we're not going to fill in probably until We've left the ship, right? But I need to take this episode to, to go through in case we don't get to come back. Fell, froze, illness, killed, knife. I feel like we're going to get some part of this is going to be on an island just from some of these like stones burned no 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 yeah I mean axed yeah there's going to be something on an island with like a hidden civilization there's got to be that's so frustrating man Okay, the, the public hanging has a lot of people there.
So he's, he's strung up. I sentence you to death by firing line, Mr. Wolf, when you're ready. If he's been shot by like Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Quiet. As captain of this ship and by the authority of the East India Company and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. Aim. Fire. Right, so the only thing I can think here is he's already dead. Which means he was struck. What? He smacked over the head. Clubbed by uh, Nichols. That's the only thing I can think of as to why all these options would wouldn't be here, right? So uh, he's probably already dead. Uh, does the thing say it was moved? Doesn't say it was moved. Post mortem, does it? So he, he must have already been dead, and he's been clubbed by Nichols. Ha, that has, it has to be that. All right, what details can we pick up here? We've got you. You're definitely one of the carpenters, just because he's got that. Um, the like the overall things on right. Yeah, that's I, I suppose that's guesswork, but it was Winston Smith. We got Cho Tan. And we, we got the the last Indian guy. Okay. Alright. Uh, yeah. Maybe there were more specific clues as to, to the carpenter, but... We still don't have... Um, Hock Seng. He was clubbed, man. There's not there's nothing else unless he shot him. I don't think he shot him though. Yeah, Bosun and the Bosun's mate, obviously, so I got that wrong. No, I don't know. The, the guy who killed him was uh, this guy, right? He shows up quite a lot, but... Right, we've got you, we've got you. We've got all of the, the mates and their stewards. We've got the gunner and the gunner's mate. You're one of the top men. The one who got electrocuted. Okay, so we should probably maybe start thinking about who the, the Chinese top men are. Because we've got three specifically, right? And, we, and one of them... Did I get the identity of the... Uh, the Chinese guy who was... No, this is the one who was speared. You would have thought it might have been him, right? Because he's talking to them. Hmm. 
Is uh, is Whaley crossed off? No, he's, yeah, all right. So, because I've got him written down. One of these three was electrocuted. One was speared by a beast. Now, where's the fourth? It's just where the uh, the fourth Chinese topman is. The question is, who's the carpenter's uh, mate, whatever you'd call him? I feel like that could be him. He's not dressed like a carpenter though, but he's a kind of on his own. I'm fe I think he was American when we heard his voice. So I'm just going to put him in as the, as the carpenter's mate for the time being. There's the, the artist, obviously. This guy hasn't shown up much, has he? He's got a scarf on as well. So he, I think he, does that mean he's just a seaman? Oh, that was, that's the cook, obviously. We've got him. Okay. Right, then let's have a look at the gunners. We've got Brennan here, right? Yeah. That's one of the Russians. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you were ripped apart. We don't know who he is. And you were, you also went with Nichols, right? We've got you. You're, yeah, you're O'Hagan. Okay. Got all the Formosan identities and fates, except for except for the guy getting shot here. I feel like clubbed by Nichols is is a decent shout, although it probably would have uh, triggered with the other the other ones that we just got, maybe. Right. Okay, now this one's a bit of a, a weird one. So, that's the foot, isn't it? Yeah. On the gun deck. Yep, three and three. Right, so this was them escaping, right? So we know that everyone involved here left because they left on two boats, right? So it was two of the, the, the other two Russians. Uh, that's Galligan, the, the steward. This guy sounded Scottish. Uh, all right, so he was shot by uh, Nichols. Were there any Scotsmen who are seamen that we've got left? So it could be Timothy Beaumont. <laughs> we've only got two Scotsmen left. And it's not going to be the, the accountant, is it, for God's sake? He's just climbed up the side of the ship. Right? So it's got to be him. Got to be him. He stood at the back with the other, with one of the, with a few of the other topmen, right? Yeah, that's Timothy. Yeah, that's definitely him. That's definitely him. As long as it was him shouting, I imagine it was him shouting just before he got shot.
Right, we've got you, Peter Milroy. That's uh, the Frenchman. Can't remember who whacked him now. And there's that's still there. Okay, we made a bit of progress there. I hadn't input that it was Nichols because I don't think we knew who Nichols was when we first saw this. Oh, and who are you? We, have, we know absolutely nothing about you. Has he got hold of the wheel? Is there a driver? <laughs> That's the helmsman. That's got to be the helmsman, right? He stood with his hand on the on the bloody wheel, right? That's that's Finley. Get back to work, Finley. Right, um. So what has he been speared? We don't know by who though. There's nothing to say he died here, but he probably did. He's not shown up in anything else, has he? Oh, he disappeared in the doom. Okay, so we need to wait a bit longer to see what happened to him. Okay, I'm happy about that. We've got the helmsman. That, that He's definitely the helmsman. He's in the picture holding this, right? So, I mean... That, he, that's definitely right as well. So we need, we need one or two more right to know that for sure. But I'm, I'm pretty confident about that. It's not going to be the, the bloody accountant, is it? For God's sake. Right. Okay. If the, the, this this is really winding me up now this one that's the only thing it can be because yeah 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 it was definitely Scottish when he said give it up give it up Right, uh, the calling, we've, we've just been through this, but uh, the guy might have his satchel and his pipe, the Russian, might. Uh, let me let me just get his name. It was number 47, so. Uh, Alexei Toporov. Alexei Toporov. Accessible through another corpse. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Okay. So we access through missile limb. Right. Four, part four. Four, what? Four, part five. Four past six. Wait, what? No, oh, there is a part five and a part six. Oh, is this not right? Maybe he was clawed then? Yeah, we definitely need to have a closer look at that. Right, let, let's go through Miss Lim first. I forgot that I'd missed that one. Okay, so his, his arm was like burning when he put it in, right? So could he have burnt to death? He was just, he was holding his side when he died, right? Right, where's your satchel? We're not sure which topman you are. 
Is that spiked or speared? That's that's the that's the beef I've got here. So with Galligan, no, he was strangled. Is that not right either? Huh. Oh, has he got a knife in his throat? Damn it. Thank you. Right, I think we got the, the Scottish guy. Oh, that was Marcus Gibbs. Okay, I thought it was. Yeah, that was the, the Scottish topman. That's Galligan. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Right, uh, we don't know who you are. We've got you, O'Hagan. We've got Galligan. We've got um, Unlan. And then we've got the, the two Russians who both disappeared. Uh, he's a seaman as well, so uh, we can put unknown seaman at least. Okay, I'm happy. Right, let's just ho hopefully we can ident ID the the Russians. They probably drowned, right? Because they're not on board the ship here, right? Here's Nichols. Yeah, they drowned. They must have drowned. Right, so I just have to identify which one's which, because I could do it via guesswork, I suppose. No, wait, wait, wait. No, there's... No, 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 that's O'Hagan. Yeah, that's Nichols. That's Miss Lim. There wasn't a third boat, was there? Right, they've obviously drowned. Um... Right, Galligan was next, right? Uh, Galligan was stabbed. So we'll see here Galligan getting. You're still breathing? Can you roll? Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake! I should have noticed this. Yeah, he's got a knife in his throat, Mark. What are you, what are you doing? So O'Hagan's there, speared. And you're getting pulled in, so you drowned for sure. Right, where is your satchel and your... There's his satchel, man. There's his satchel. That's, that's still Nichols. So where was... Was the other Russian in the other boat? So in this boat, there would have been the, the Chinese topman, Galligan, and um, what's his name? Itbeng. We need to see his death again. I don't know what happened to him. I feel like it might be burned. I just, I need to find out. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to say that he is number 47 because he's sat next to the satchel. I can't remember if Nishkin, if the other guy was sat with him. Uh, I'm fairly sure that he drowned though. Because he's being pulled in, right? All right. Then we need to go for you, right? Yeah. Did we get you right? No. Uh, have we got anybody correctly as speared? I'm really not sure. 
Yes, okay, so, yeah, 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 right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Ignore me. Well, preferably don't ignore me, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Keep course due east. You'll reach the Canaries in three days. You've packed enough stores? Aye, sir. Checked and loaded them myself. Good. Stay quiet and alert. If the wind picks up, we've no chance against the Oberdin. Shoot ya! The one trouble! Three days. I shut it off. This is strange things. About monsters. Right, so I, 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 we didn't see what happened to him. He's not got the satchel, right? He's got his satchel there. Is the pipe in it? Is the pipe in his mouth? He's got the pipe in his mouth! Right, so that that's that's 100 percent the right thing. So that means you drowned as well, and that your name is Nishkin. Nikishin. Nick. Nikish. Nikishin. 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 Right. Drowned. Was no. He he just drowned. All right. Fine. Uh, where's the other guy? see what happened to him in part two. Yeah. Where was, where was, uh, Nikishin in, in part two? That's really weird. So I've got something wrong then. I've got their identities right, I'm sure. So they were dragged underwater, maybe they were clawed. I don't want to guess here, but that's that's the only thing other thing it could be here. No, I feel like they drowned, man. They were drowned by a beast. A shapely, <laughs> a topless beast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who rows a boat smoking a pipe? I mean, really? <laughs> All right. Um, are we in part one here? Yeah, when the, when, yeah, when the unknown topman. Right, uh... So when does Ne... When does he, uh, go away? Toporov is in that one, but Nikshin's gone by that point. But he was... he was in part two. Sorry guys, I've got to go back. I got to go back. Uh, part three is Galligan. What in the law? Good man today. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. 
Mister. You're still breathing? Can you roll? Nichols, sir, shoot them for God's sake! So, Nikki. So. He is in this. Just where? No, 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 he's not in this one. Right, oh, Hagen. Right, now you're you're not getting clawed distinctly. You're getting dragged down. I got pulled overboard. How did I not notice? Right, is that clawed? I don't know, man. I don't know. I've definitely got the identities right. Because there's no other Russians left, is there? Oh, this is frustrating, man. Either I've got them right, and they did both drown, and I've just, I've not got my third one right, you know? Alright, okay, I'm happy with that. We know that they both got pulled overboard, so they likely drowned. But, if we just, we just, if we can get one more that's definitely right, we'll know what where we are about that one. Right, so let's let's see, uh, go back to it bangs. See if we can actually. Shoot ya! Shoot ya! Right, so we know he put his arm in the chest. Or did Nichols kill him? Because Nichols has come across to their bow, hasn't he? Yeah, it must be Nichols. Maybe Nichols shot him. Yeah, Nichols shot him. That's what the gunshot was. No, obviously not. This is maddening, dude. Okay, what are my other options then? If he did die because he put his arm in the thing, is there like burned? Yes, thank you. Oh, beautiful. Burn to death, thank you. And we got these two. Oh, I got them right because it was clawed. Maybe it was either or. I, I thought I'd change that back to drowned. I think, we got, I think we've got like nearly half. Okay, I'm happy with that. Uh, that means we've got everyone in that chapter, yeah? Except for the first, the first, the first guy. We don't know his name, but we need to work on the the four Chinese topman identities. 
Yeah, we've got O'Hagan, we've got Gallagher, we've got Bunlam, we've got Itbeng, and we've got Nichols, and the two the two Russians. So I, I imagine it would have been fine to have drowned and or and or clawed for both of them. Correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't do that intentionally. I intended to leave them both as being drowned. Alright, and just for the sake of sake of it, let's see Nichols get shot again. Hear Nichols get shot again. Ahoy! Hell back! He's the captain! Ahoy! Wait! Don't shoot! I have treasure! I yield! Hold your fire! <laughs> What an absolute shit show. Yes, we know what happened to you. You got spiked. Yeah, we know what happened to you. I don't think we can learn much else from this one. Alright. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, next chapter would be the Unholy Captives. Which starts off here, right? Chapter 5, Part 1. Yep. Now they get uh, spiked here. What the hell is going on? What do you know about these things? About the chest and your dead friends? This is me. Very good shell? shell? What shell? I've got another Topman here, man. And that's the, that's the dude who was electrocuted. So he can speak English. Maybe all four of them can speak English. You're tending to the bodies. Is there like a uh, a, a coroner, <laughs> for lack of a better word? Maybe he's the surgeon's mate, actually. <sighs> okay. Just, uh, we're getting... So, it could be James Wallace, because he's tending to the bodies. It could be... It could be the, the main surgeon. Probably not Duncan. Obviously not uh, Sati. None of these top men. No idea who this top man from New Guinea is. We can maybe have a look at the uh, the drawing with that in mind. So wait, do we know what happened to him? Decapitated. So let's. I think he's the surgeon's mate. Right? Could be the other way around, right? Oh. I feel like the, the surgeon's mate is the person you get to go for the bodies. And if you were looking at people who were actually sick and spreading an illness, maybe that's what you get the main surgeon for, main doctor. You were torn apart by him. no clue who you are. You're the guy who killed the bosun's mate. Still drawing a blank on him.
Yeah. This guy I've still got no clue of. Although he could be a topman with that shirt on. Well, yeah, because we've got... Yeah, these are the surgeons, right? He's doing the dirty work, so he must be the surgeon's mate. Yeah, uh, that's Hosker. We've seen you die, but I'm still not sure who he is. Okay, so I'm just going to do... I'm going to have a look through... The obvious topman. For the... For this guy from New Guinea. So, topman, not you. Topman, not... How many topmen are... How many topmen are there? Okay, unidentified topman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got eight unidentified, or, you know, un properly unidentified topmen, but four of them are Chinese. Um, one of them is Persian. So, two Englishmen and someone from New Guinea, right? So, the, he's that's the Persian. Oh yeah, we don't know who he is either. That's the Scotsman. Could be him. I can't think of where, of where New Guinea is. Thinking, thinking about it, actually. You're the guy who's alive right at the end. You're, so you'll be... I'm fairly confident he'll be an Englishman. He is as well. Uh, other Topman. Chinese Topman, Chinese Topman. Chinese Topman. Where's the... Uh, no... Ugh. Yeah, Chinese Topman. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I feel like this could be the guy from New Guinea. But I can't be sure. Well, I'm going to call him a topman. Everyone's a bloody topman according to me. But... I feel like you're a seaman, to be honest. So are you. I don't think I'm going to pick up anything else here. There's the bosun. Is there anyone else here that I'm not thinking of? God, how lucky was El Capitan here? Right between his legs. Alright, that's enough of that. You're a seaman. Okay. Right, the next part was the cook getting smacked in the head by the tail on the stairway to the gun deck. I think it was the other stairway. Yeah, 
chapter 5, part 2. That's the captain. What's your foot in? Hey there, what's this? Give him the tea and I can fry us a solid meal, boys. <laughs> Never know. Take it slow. One sec, gentlemen. There's a free shell here. Let's have a look. No, get back. No, get back. Who said that? Whoever said that is the Welshman. I know you guys keep making fun of me for being obsessed with the accents. I mean, some of them are probably acted. But there was a Welsh seaman, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna say that you were John. We know that that's the cook. So do these scarves mean midshipmen then? One scarf, two scarves. He's he's a surgeon though. Three scarves. Okay, so just based on the the assumption that those neck scarves mean midshipmen. No one else really has... Oh. I bet you used to cook. No one else has really got them on. Who doesn't have, like, a distinct role? Like the bosun, or the cook, or the surgeon, right? And there's three of them all dressed very similar, so... So I think you're a midshipman. Have we only got one left? Huh. I don't know yet. Hang on. Uh, what happened to the other midship? Are they definites? Yeah, 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 yeah. Necktie, uh, scarf even, scarf, okay. Okay, so I think we can definitely say that that's... Right, but I think that that's uh, reasonable to say that that's Thomas. There's a couple of the stewards. Alright, I'm happy with that. I think we can leave. That has to be him, right? Just because of the scarves. But they're also quite low down in the deck, so they're not like officers or anything. I'm happy with that. That's just in front of us, right? Might not get anything out of this book. Oh yeah, but he's got the scarf on as well. Ah, he's not stood with them. We know what they are. This, these are this two of the Indian guys. We know what happened to them. Yeah, that's the carpenter. That's the carpenter's mate. So, I mean, that means... We... Can we say with any confidence then that uh, this guy is the guy from Sierra Leone? My only problem is, is I'm completely 
completely drawing a blank on where New Guinea is. Who have I tagged as... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Crap. Okay, maybe New Guinea, New Guinea might be in Africa as well. I think it is, actually, yeah. Okay, right. I've, ta uh, I've taken that for granted, then. Yeah. Okay. So let's just put unknown semen for the time being. But we know it's from one of two. Because uh, we've got, uh, they're both African. I could, I could throw in some guesses there. It's really tempting. I should have realised he was coming from the carpenter's room, right? Oh, ma! I should have realised that one. I don't think we're going to get too much more from this one. I don't know why in my head, like, I was thinking, like, New Guinea is kind of, like, near India somewhere. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Sometimes your geography gets messed up, you know? You know? Okay, this is probably wrong, then. But I feel like he would be the one telling the cook to, to, to back off because he was stood closest to him, maybe. He's down as like an easy one as well. He's got like a one arrow, so we'll re-examine this one. Oh, that was in, that's in the, what? That's in the cargo hold. Oh yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's near the, uh, the lock room. I was looking at the things the wrong way around, sorry. Keep pressure here. Oh, he, ca he calls him John, doesn't he? Madness is this. Twenty years, my steward, had never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. Throw them back or doom us all. He's right. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may yet find his senses. Come on. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Where's the rest of his leg? So he wasn't torn apart. Yeah, so it is John, obviously. I just don't think he was torn apart. So he had his leg ripped off and he likely bled out, right? No, that's not right. What the hell do you put for this? Suicide struck.
Uh, that's really annoying. Or maybe we can get a hint here. Where's his leg? Is his leg somewhere? Did they they said where his leg was? Where's his leg? We can't go over there. So was the rest of his leg by the lazarette? How... Right, where's the rest of his leg? Can we even say how he died? Right. Maybe it's right and... No, I don't think it's right. Maybe it's right and I just need some other ones. Um, let me have a second look at the people who were upstairs, actually. Because they're bringing down... The, uh, the big boy, right? Oh, there's the carpenters. Frenchman. All right, all right. I don't know how uh, what we're going to put for for old Johnny Boy there with his leg uh, cut off. But that's where his leg is. Um, just bear with me, I'm just going to listen to the start of this again. Sorry. Keep pressure here. Hold him down. No. Sorry, I, th I thought for a... <laughs> right, we might get an idea of what happened in the, in the last, in the last one. Right. Right, in, in this one. Can we might get an idea of how his leg got chopped on? Right, where's, right, where's John? Johnny. So how did he end up with his leg cut off? That's the that's the guy you died first, yeah. Yeah, that's the cook. You tripped over the cook. So he fell down the stairs, and then how the bollocks did he end up with his leg cut off at the thigh? Oh, that's so frustrating. All right, all right. Well, right, let's move on.
I don't really know how he ended up with his leg chopped off. I might be missing something obvious there. But we're, oh, we're bang on an hour and a half, guys. We're going to have to continue with the backtracking in the next episode. But I feel like we learnt a lot of things through the through re-examining there. Uh, about the, the guy from Sierra Leone, the guy from New Guinea. We've got John there, obviously. We picked up some new ident uh, we picked up some new fates. We've got the two Russians. We've got uh, Itbeng, was it? Um, we got the we got the Scottish Topman. We've loosely tagged the last midshipman. Who else did we get? We got the carpenters. Again, a little bit of uh, slight guesswork because it was t only two of them, but but yeah. We'll, we'll pick it up from here next time and we'll re-examine the soldiers of the C section. A lot of people died in that, so we'll have to try and pick up some more details. Maybe the bed numbers might be useful for that, I suppose. I'm not sure. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Please leave me a like on the video if you did. And just remember, everybody, never trust an uncrate. I'll see you next time.